What's up, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We have a very special interview today. We've got a former WWE champion, intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and he just recently had a new baby. As the one, the only one third of the new day, Kofi Kingston is joining us today. Kofi, how are you doing today, man? Oh, fantastically well, man. Early bird getting the worm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Waking up early doing this. So getting uh, getting the start on the day is always good when you do it early. Yes, absolutely. So now we are a music website, so I do have to ask you some questions about some of the more music related uh, sides to a, a crazy career that you have. Yeah. Um, WWE superstars are on the road all the time. I got to ask you, first off, what is the Kofi Kingston playlist like? What do you listen to? When oh, you're out man. Wow. It's it's always changing, man. Uh, primarily. So I have this playlist on uh, on Spotify that is just like always growing. If I hear uh, ironically, like I, I get a lot of new music from like um, like Instagram videos or like the uh, the reels. And they'll just have like a random like hip hop song in the background. Like, oh, what's that? Hit the Shazam, you know, and then like add another song to the playlist. But, um, you know, I, my my uh, my core at my core, I'm a, I'm a hip hop guy for sure. You know, um, I've always said that like the uh, the older stuff. I, I like a lot better than the newer stuff, which I never thought I'd say because that's what I was told when I was a kid is that like, oh, you guys don't know what music is, you know, you, right. you guys don't know. And now I'm doing this like the same exact thing. However, I will say that uh, Lil Uzi Vert is uh, yeah. like my my new age rapper of choice, which I never thought I would be into. I just like saw the name and I was like, what what is an Uzi Vert? You know what I'm saying? I'm about <laughs> listening to this and then I, have, I find myself like just, um, you know, bop into a lot of the stuff he has going on so um yeah he's probably the top the top for okay. me right now yeah. okay and does that music change at all when it's uh when it's time to get in the ring when you're in the locker room do you need something to pump you up let's say it's you know wrestlemania you're doing a big stadium show does it yeah. does the intensity pick up you gotta listen to something different it's a i usually like stuff that's um like not necessarily like pump you up but more just kind of like even keel you know uh some people like thrive off of um you know just just being like pumped up and hyped up for me it's like the calm before the storm so a lot of times uh before going out i'll have like some classical music on you know what i mean like some some beethoven some tchaikovsky you know um just yeah. real laid back stuff and then i i usually get fired up once i hear the actual crowd or when we get out there, a lot of people will see us um, like dancing to other people's music. We've had matches against guys like the Usos and AJ Styles, even like Roman Reigns' new song is like, you know, it's it's hype. It gets you uh, it gets you going. You know what I'm saying? So being out there when other people's music is going off, like we legit get hyped out there. You know, so they got some really good entrance themes in WWE for sure. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because you're probably the only wrestlers I've ever seen do this uh, to to enjoy, you know, somebody else's music. Um, who are who are the themes, you know, like what wrestlers do you get to uh, get the most hyped about coming to see out? See oh, out. <laughs> it, 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 we to everybody, literally. Uh, uh, definitely, like I mentioned, AJ Styles music. It, it just it knocks, as the kids say. <laughs> um, I gotta say, uh, like I said, the Usos for sure. Seamus's music is very underrated because he's a guy that comes out and is extremely hyped up, you know, and it starts off slow with the drums. And that's one of my favorite ones to, to, to really get going because I just start beating my chest like Seamus does and, you know, throwing the arms out fella, at the top of my lungs. You know what I mean? So we have a lot of fun out there, man. It really doesn't matter whose music is, is playing. We just make sure to kind of show out regardless. Yeah, absolutely. And the New Day has a very, you know, you said you're a hip hop guy. New Day has a very hip hop persona. I know it wasn't always the case like that. Um, how much say do you get, you know, when you're when you're crafting kind of this the image of the New Day? You know, do you get to have a say? Did you get uh, multiple options as to like what music you're coming out to? Or was it just kind of like, all right, you've got this this bouncy bass kind of thing happening when you, yeah. when you come to the ring? It's funny because when we first uh, came out, we were talking about music and Vince uh, thrust down upon us the uh, the 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 characters that we were going to play three 
kind of positivity preaching gospel uh, preachers, for lack of a better term. And, and we're yeah. like, OK, if we have to do this, let's have like an upbeat, like Kirk Franklin type bass, you know. So I remember specifically when they came back to us with the music that they come up with. And it was more like, I don't know, just like older gospel. Like we said, like, this isn't this isn't going to work. You know, we need like Kirk Franklin stomp type stuff. So they came yeah. back with the New Day music. I've been real lucky over the years to have had a, a good amount of say in my music. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, they they always play you what they're going to, uh, what they have planned. And then you kind of go from there. It's a work in progress. And you say, hey, well, maybe we could do this. Or maybe we can do that. Maybe, you know, we, we actually worked hand in hand with uh, Jim Johnson. And, you know, he's the guy who came up with all the old WWE themes. I'm talking about like Undertaker, like Bret Hart, you know, Shawn Michaels. This was all Jim Johnston in his uh, in his music lab, just labbing and chefing up some some beats and, and songs. So we actually before uh, the New Day came out, we had the opportunity to like be there hand in hand with Jim Johnston and oh, work awesome. with the legend in our music. So I've been real lucky to have had some say, whereas some guys, uh, that's not the case. It's like, all right, you're debuting and this is your music. And it's like, uh, all right, if you feel it, cool. If not, too bad. This is what you're coming out to. Yeah, and that's a huge part of, you know, getting getting to the crowd and playing with the crowd is that I think that music initially is what hits. Um, you've also gotten to do some really cool stuff, you know, kind of hip hop related to you got to work with Wale. Uh, yeah. WWE, I know, has been rolling loud and stuff like that, too. But uh, what was the experience like, you know, getting involved with Wale? How did that all come about? Well, Wale and E are the ones who first became friends. And it's just crazy because he's such a mega star uh you know grammy winning artist like he's been doing it for a while and been doing it so well so obviously through e we met wale and he brought wale's a huge wrestling fan so um and he's a huge sneakerhead too which is where he and i really began to connect and he actually interviewed me for i think uh, an article for complex and okay. we were going back and forth about sneakers and that was like really back in the day when i didn't really know a whole lot about the ins and outs of the actual sneaker culture like custom sneakers i remember him asking me like hey uh you you know who's your favorite customizer i was like oh nike id you know and not knowing that there <laughs> yeah. are guys out there who actually like customize sneakers you know mosh um you know there, there's just so many people out there who who do so much great work so um, it's been awesome to get to know him. And then the rap battle that we had against the Usos where we had no business freestyling and, and going back and forth and having like a little rap battle with anybody, but it actually went off pretty much without a hit. So Wale was a big part of that. And uh, so was Mega Ran, who was Xavier Woods' favorite artist because Mega Ran, I think was the only licensed um, musical artist for that was signed by Capcom. And Capcom, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, you know, so Mega Man, all those games that came out. Uh, Mega Ram was the guy who was uh, who was signed by them. So he actually gave us some guidance that rap battle, too. So we've gotten the chance to get to know him over a while. Uh, 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 a music theme that I almost came out to for WrestleMania 35, uh, a quote unquote Kofi mania. It's always cooler when other people say it. Not so much when I say it, but we were thinking <laughs> about coming out to like a completely new song. And Mega Ram had the beats and we worked with him on all that. Of course, it never saw the light of day, unfortunately, maybe someday. But yeah, it's been really cool. I think that hip hop and um, and uh, and, and wrestling have a lot of the same like struggles and journeys because there's so many people who want to be hip hop artists and so many people who want to be wrestlers, you know, and yeah. it's a very, very small crop of people that actually get to make it to the to the big screen to uh, to, to become well known, you know, so there's a lot of the uh, same just similarities in terms of where um, you know, the, 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 what it takes to actually succeed in the, both respective industries. Yeah. And I did want to really quickly ask you about uh, that battle rap segment. Like you said, uh, you got to do that one with the Usos. You've done Wild and Out. Um, yeah. How comfortable are you in, in you know, the rap battle uh, setting? Yeah. I, I, I think that over time, like I've, I've realized that I'm not a rapper by any means. <laughs> Uh, we've yeah. been real lucky. Uh, I feel like while and out, it was kind of uh, we were really out of our element because all the guys there, like it's so, they're they're so incredibly talented. Nick Cannon and that entire crew, in taking a subject and then just going on it and and really being completely off the cuff. So luckily, I mean, we were okay, but um, a lot of the jokes and stuff that we were like. Uh, 
putting forth where like the crowd wasn't like laughing with us. And we're like, oh my God, we, are we like, are we not good at this or whatever? But you know, it was a, it was a good show, you know? Uh, so yeah, we, we've had a lot of different experiences uh, doing that with the rap battle. Like I said, it went off great. A lot of people had a great reaction to it. A lot of that was the Usos, of course. But um, yeah, we, uh, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I had a, a, a brand new respect for hip hop artists and especially like freestylers because you literally, again, just take the first thing that comes to your head and you make it make sense. Number one, make it rhyme. And then also you have to make it entertaining, whether it's funny or insulting or biting or whatever, you got to do that off the cuff. And if you mess up, like everybody's watching. So it's a heck of a rush, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not for me. It's not for me. I'll, I'll stick to my day job. Yeah. So I was going to say, so safe to say you're not making any music anytime soon. Definitely not. No, no. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, we, we got like a little piano here at the house and I'll play a little bit with the kids, but nothing of substance whatsoever. Nothing presentable by any means. I used to make beats on Fruity Loops way back in college, but Damn. yeah, Damn. you know, that, I, I'll, I'll dabble. But as far as like a professional setting, definitely not. Okay, so I got a couple quick hits for you on the way out here then. Uh, who has the best music taste, do you think, in the WWE locker room right now? Best music taste in the locker room? I have to go with E. Actually, yeah, like I said, he's really into hip hop and he always has his finger on the pulse of like <sighs> what's new and what's fresh, you know? Okay, and then flip side of that, who has the worst music taste in, in the locker room? Oh boy, the worst music taste. Uh, I, uh, he's not going to like this, but maybe, maybe Seth Rollins, maybe <laughs> Seth Rollins, because he, and it's not even, it's just that like the music that he listens to is like too intense for me. It's a lot, a lot of like mega death and like, <laughs> and they're screaming and you know, like they, it's almost like That's they're on fire. Like. You know, you like that too? Sometimes. My, my son likes that go. music. Where they're just screaming and they're not, I don't know what they're saying anything, but they, you know, people are there. It's like, there's a, a big panic in the room. Like just get out of the room. <laughs> and I'll just yelling yeah. at the top of their lungs. I just, I mean, it's cool for like four seconds, but I can't listen to an entire album of that. It's just too much. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you lastly, but you kind of answered it here. If you had the aux cable who are you in, you're in the car, you're going town to town with Xavier Woods and Big E. Uh, who are you passing the ox to? But it sounds like it's going to be Big E. Usually, um, yeah, usually it'd be E. Woods likes a lot of, he likes to sing. And what I call like singing stuff, especially like being on the road. I don't, I don't like to hear like a lot of R&B where you're in the car with three dudes and you're listening to a dude singing about his girl and we're all driving down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. You put some hip hop on, you know, like before a match or we're headed to the next town. We're going to assimilate battle in the ring. Put some hip hop on that's going to get us like in the right state of mind to go to war with our enemies. You know, yeah. put some put something on that's got a little uh, little intensity all that. Like the R&B Woods to put a lot of acapella and like K-pop pop and all this like singing stuff i'm like nah i can't you know this is not the right frame of mind frame of mind for me to be in going into battle okay well then i will leave you on this one we will ask you one more on the way out here if you had to pick one artist to create a new theme for the new day uh other than mega ran or wale uh oh boy who would you pick geez see i was gonna have a collab between those two uh if i could do one artist maybe uh you know jay-z is coming to my head right now jay-z is okay. coming to my head right now or maybe like i i think kanye west I, i'll go with, i'll go with kanye west he whispered eminem into my ear that would also be really cool but <laughs> I, I think kanye to me is one of the most uh people don't talk about kanye in the in the conversation with like the greatest of all time to me he has so much range if you go and listen to his albums like all of them to me are hype in their own different way so um, whether you're ready for them at the time or not, like when Yeezus came out, I was like, uh, I don't know if I like this, but then two years later, I put it back and I was like, oh, this is dope. He was ahead of his time. You know, I finally caught up. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Kanye on that. Okay, definitely. Well, we will, uh, we will look forward to seeing you here in Milwaukee. Don't forget, Raw comes to Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee on December 20th. Kofi, thank you for bringing the, uh, the family with you and yeah. uh, thank you for sitting down and talking with us. 
Right on, man. Thank you for having me on the show. And like I said, just to finish off, like anybody who has not been to a, a WWE show live, you owe it to yourself to be entertained. Monday Night Raw coming to Milwaukee, like we love coming to the Midwest because the wrestling crowd is just always just so energetic and we appreciate that energy. So if you like having a good time, if you enjoy being entertained, then you want to come to a WWE show for sure. Absolutely. And don't forget, you can always hit up Breaking and Entering that net as well for coverage of the Milwaukee music scene and music from all over the world. Thanks again, Kofi. Thank you.